We are at Taman Tamadun Islam and this place got a collection of the most unique miniature mosque from all over the world. But first, let me show you the most unique mosque we have ever seen in Malaysia. Very Russian looking onion dome mosque here in Terengganu. All right, first things first, why are these domes so unique in Malaysia? Obviously there are hundreds of domed mosques in Malaysia. The key difference is these domes are wider than the base they sit on. They're wider than the tower they sit on. This is completely unique. This is completely Russian. So if you combine that with the funky paint job of the stripes and bright colors, you get what's known as an onion dome. And at first glance, this is clearly not Malaysian, clearly not Muslim. This is different architecture. It's a different design. It's completely unique. We have seen nothing like this in 10 months of traveling Malaysia. The Onion Dome Mosque. Very special. There was a local politician who uh, had been to Moscow and fell in love with St. Basil Cathedral, which has these brightly colored onion domes. And he put the funds to make his vision of a really beautiful looking mosque, really unique looking mosque. And I think he absolutely nailed it. I mean, it's so unique. It just screams Russia to me. And we're here in Terengganu, East Coast Malaysia, and we've got this brightly colored onion dome mosque. Wow. So really cool stuff. Now, next stop, not far from here, there's another really interesting looking mosque that we're really excited to check out called the Wooden Mosque. Wooden Mosque. Just like that, from a Russian style mosque to a traditional Malay style mosque. And again, no Muslim domes on top, but still insanely beautiful. Let's go check it out. Wow, how beautiful are those mosques, guys? And actually, in the same complex here, they have Masjid Crystal, which I think is the most beautiful mosque I've ever seen. We have been there before on our first visit to Terengganu, but now it's time to check out the theme park, the Taman Tamadun Islam. Let's go. Passport, go international. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, look how big this park is. But we found our first mosque the Chinese mosque. All right, first stop today, we're in China. Wow. This mosque is a representation of the one originally built in the 7th century. Wow which is pretty incredible. Although since then it was destroyed and then rebuilt. This is the exact version from 1392. That's so still incredibly cool. old. That's so cool. It looks just like a pagoda. I think if I was in China, I wouldn't be able to try tell the difference which one is a temple, a pagoda or a mosque. True fact. What, right? So there are 22 mosques here today. First one, Chinese looks Buddhist. Yeah, it even have, it has the uh, dragons. Wow, very cool. And bamboos to make it look like we're in China. Wow, there you go. Very have it. cool. All right, let's see where we end up today. 22 countries. Wow. Any guesses? I think this one is from, I'm guessing somewhere in the Middle East or Europe. No, it looks more Europe than Middle East. Turkey, maybe. Maybe Turkey. Good point. Wow. Oh, Russia. Oh, Russia. Russia. Wow. <laughs> Thank you.
So this one was built in the late 1400s. So some 100 years after that one was built. Wow. Uh, around the time when Ivan the Terrible was ruling Russia. Ivan the Terrible. <laughs> this place is cool. Two mosques so far, having a good time. Wow. I mean, look at the details, pretty incredible with the staircases and the railings. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty incredible. Look at the doors. And then if you hang a right, you can see the stairs over here. Oh my gosh. You know? <laughs> this mosque looks like a castle. It does, right? Wow. Very cool. I would guess uh, Middle East. And mm. I would guess like more than a thousand years old. Wow. Because of the simple construction, kind of the uh, vertical tower. I would guess for a country like Afghanistan or Iraq or something. Okay. Let's find out. Wow, let's see. Niger. Niger? You know Niger? No. It's in Africa. Really? Wow, look at this spike. Yeah, what are the Why spikes is it for? It looks like it's made out of wood almost. Maybe we'll go up close to the uh, mosque. We'll it see. looks, to me, it looks a little bit scary, to be honest. It looks with a little all... bit like war, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, 16th century, so the 1500s. Okay. I thought it was older than that. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Some kind of fortress where you would put uh, bow and arrow people. Or That's right. Or something. Yeah. You wow. Mosque from Niger. China, Russia, Niger. Okay. It's been a good trip. Let's keep going. Central Asia. Is Kazakhstan Muslim? I think Kazakhstan is Muslim. Oh uh, yeah, I, think I got a so. feeling it's Kazakhstan. Just because of the way the brick pattern is, doesn't look Middle Eastern to me. Originally built in the year 1127. 1127. Uh, I was close. Uzbekistan. Wow. So Central Asia. In the beginning of our travels, or mm. before we start to travel. I used to think all mosques has a dome, like dome shape. Right. But I guess not. No, the dome I think is unique to uh, Saudi Arabia. Hmm. I think. Where Islam came from? I think Mecca is in Saudi Arabia, right? Okay, so yeah. So I think Islam kind of started there and they're the ones that have that dome shape. We saw the Russian mosque had a bit of a dome as well. Oh, right, But yes. it's a slightly different kind of dome. Same with the unique mosque we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. The Russian mosque when it goes wider. That's right. Um, and it seems to be this vertical tower is another theme. Yeah. The Niger Mosque as well as the Uzbekistan Mosque. Wow. There you tower. Have it. Look at this one over here. There's your dome shape you were talking about. Wow. Let's go explore here. It looks super pretty, that one. Wow. Yeah, it looks a bit like a palace, right? A palace. Oh, you got that flag. I think it's Turkey, right? I think this one's Turkey. It's the Turkish wow. flag. Everywhere you look, there's a miniature mosque. It's really great. Wow. <laughs> oh my sure goodness. Is. Now I want to go to Turkey just yeah, to see this yeah. in real life. Look at the little pathways and everything. It's so, it's so uh, accurate, you know? Wow. The little pathways, the little staircases. <laughs> This would be the front door, Ivana. And based on the size of the other doors, I think in real life, oh. these doors are like epic. Oh my high. gosh. I don't think a human being stands to here. I think each human being stands down here. Yeah. Like, this would be a good place for a photo. And then we go to Turkey, another photo in front of the big door. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hopefully we will get to see the real moss in so. Turkey. We can make it happen. Nice. 1557. 1557, complete construction. Uh, four towers because it was built by the fourth king of Istanbul. Wow! And all the design features laid out for you. Really, really great. They've got all the signs in Malay, in Arabic, and in English. Very helpful. And they tell you all the information about it. Oh, this one over here looks nice. Let's go over here. Distracted. Oh, oh this, this particular mosque, very close to Mecca. Wow, Mecca, the holiest place for the Islam people and you can really imagine how big this place would be in real life because I mean, the doors are like this tall right oh so yeah if one human was probably this tall 
That's you know true. I mean? This place is massive. Wow. There you have it. Look at that. Another grand mosque. Uh, I would mm. say it has to be Middle, some Middle East country soon. It has this to one, be yeah. Iraq, Afghanistan, Iran. I think so. I think you're Guessing. right. I think this is a Middle Eastern mosque. Yeah, it looks like it, right? Yeah, because of the dome. Wow. Let's it's so see. Great that it's so small. It really is a good idea to see the mosque to build a smaller version. Yeah. It really is a clever idea. It is so cool. I love all the details and the doors. Wow. Did you know there was someone named Muhammad Ali? Wow, not the boxer. Not the boxer. Long before the boxer. 1590s. Wow. Uh, Muhammad Ali. Potentially where he got that name from, the boxer. Okay. But uh, this is an Egyptian guy who was involved with the Egypt and Turkey army, Ottoman Empire, and was uh, conquering and showing tremendous courage and skill. And wow. in the 1900s, they named the mosque after him because uh, Muhammad Ali, incredible guy, not the boxer. Oh, look at that mosque. Beautiful. Wow. That looks like a fort. Really, right? <laughs> I think they, uh, they made the, the, the mosque smaller because they wanted to show this one must be on a huge hill. Right. Any guesses, Ivana? Um, we did see a lot of forts like this in India. True. I wonder if it's um, Afghanistan, Iraq, or Iran. It's gotta ooh. be this That's right, look at that. Oh, look at the entrance here with the bridge from the ground. This would be a cool wow. place to go in real life. Imagine just standing on that bridge for a nice drone shot. Come on. Oh man. Wow. This is, this is a like real fort. Right? It is oh. like, a bit like a fort. I wonder if it had dual purpose, like fort and mosque, because it's built like a fort. Yeah. Ooh, Syria. You know what? It might be like, do you know in the old times they have like kingdoms, like Islamic kingdoms? Yes. It might sprout out of that. Yes. Syria, okay. Wow. 16th century, so 1500s. Ooh. 16th century BC. Wow. Amazing. It wouldn't have been a mosque then. That's before mosques. That's before, before Islam. Islam was... It was a citadel. Born. Citadel is... What is it? Something. Some kind of religious building. 16th century BC. Okay. And then somehow it converted into a mosque or something? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it was a temple. Some sort of pre... Pre-religion, really. Uh, temple. Yeah. And I guess because of the holy kind of location of it, they put a... Uh, they put a mosque there. Wow. All right. I think this is going to be the oldest one out of all so yes. far. And it was a fortress as well. Use it as a, a fortress and uh, during the invasions of the Mongols in the 1200s. That was this is a cool one. A long, this long, long be the time ago. One, Syria. Wow. From, from the, the history of the Holy Hill way before mm -hmm. Islam or Christianity or anything. And then. Uh, using it as a fortress to defend the Mongols. This one's cool. Wow. Syria. There you have it. Cool. And yet, an even more incredible one coming up. Look at this. Wow. Whoa, this is a cool place, man. <laughs> I would recommend the theme park with the mini miniature mosques. This is cool. Yeah, and we're the only one here today. That's another good point. There's literally nobody here. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a single soul. Except the lady that sold us the, the ticket. ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! Wow, this is really something. I mean, even the work of this is so nice, right? Oh my goodness, look at the marbles. Yeah, it would be marble in real life. Wow. They can make it out of wood and kind of paint it. The detail. Quite smart, but you can imagine this being on a hot day, just shining the sun and just like... Wow! Immense structure in the... Wow! Sun. Which country is it from? We still don't know. This might be Malaysia, but it looks so big and grand. You even have a bridge there. Ooh. How does it look oh, from Ivana, up there? Ivana, you're gonna see what it is in a second. Oh all goodness. the watchers, all the viewers already know what it is. They, they really? know. Really? They see know. What that is there? Ah. Now you know, right? Okay, this is in Mecca, no? This is Mecca, yeah, I think this is Mecca. Wow. That's so it looks it like so. this. Yeah, this is Mecca. Wow. Well, miniature Mecca, mini yeah. Mecca. This is mini Mecca. 
so beautiful. Wow. There's still three or four more to go. Yeah. This is awesome. <gasps> oh, baby. I think we have been to the real place on the next one. Which one? Look Which at one? that one. This is Taj Mahal. Yeah. Oh, Taj Mahal. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's go. Ooh. They even have the fountain in the front. Do you remember the fountain? Yeah. Here? This is the famous spot for pictures. You can get the reflection That's off the water. That's true. The double image of Taj Mahal. Yeah, we took some pictures in front of it. Very cool. Taj Mahal in India. We have been to the real one here. Wow. If I remember correctly, Taj Mahal is a mosque, but also a tomb of oh. the king's wife. Remember the story? Yes, that's right. I beg to remember the story. So uh, let's go check it out. Very good job. Almost looks like the real one, really. All the details. Beautiful. Wow. By the way, this park is really well maintained. Look at that. So clean. So nice. Good job, guys. This is like almost real life size, but it's even bigger in real life. Yeah, it's massive. <laughs> this, uh, this blue color, you can think it's from Afghanistan, Iraq, or Iran, or somewhere right. right there. The blue color. Right. Very distinctive. Very distinctive. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. Can you go in there? Wow. I think you can go in, Steve. Okay. Can, can. Okay, okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> wow! Oh, this place is spectacular. Pretty wild, right, Nirvana? Yeah. Wow. Oh, you, you. A rock. Oh, look at the inside of the dome. Oh, that's like mesmerizing. Whoa. Look at all the gold. Gold. The gold You're color. You're right, Ivana. It's not only a mosque, it's also a show off the wealth of the nation. Maybe. This is like a this is like a epic gold area. And this rock must be something special about it. Some Do you sort know? of they worship to this rock. It, something happened here in the Islam religion, you know? So do you know uh, which uh, country is this one from? I don't know yet, no. I think wow. it's Middle East near Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq because right. of that blue color outside, but I wonder if it's in real life if the gold is real gold i would think so Emma. yeah i would say probably wow it's like an epic you know it's so beautiful incredible it's so look at the details it's amazing look at the paintings the wow. writing yeah wow incredible wow and this is just a mini version <laughs> oh. Moss. Where, what is. country we're in. Yeah. This is what happens when you travel for this long. You don't even know what country you're in no more. Right. Okay. Let's go figure it out. It's called Dome of the Rock because of the gigantic golden dome on top of the rock in Palestine. Wow, Palestine. Which I would not have guessed. So evidently, this is the Palestine flag. Oh. I didn't even know that. I saw the flag and I was like, I don't know what country that is. Uh, Palestine. There you have it. Wow. Beautiful moss in Palestine. That was a pretty Palestine. fancy one and a pretty tricky one to know which, which, where we were at. Um, kind of resembles the Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan blue, but very unique with that huge rock inside. Very cool. Very cool. I think there's a few left. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. This is pretty epic. This is Pakistan. You know what I noticed, Ivana? Every mosque here, I'm pretty sure every single one, mm -hmm. they always are up. You walk oh. upstairs to the mosque. Oh, okay. Isn't that true? You never go downstairs to a mosque. You go up. Right, right, See yes. the big staircase? They even included it in the construction here. Epic staircase, and then you go in the mosque. Right. I think almost everyone here had the, had the stairs. Wow, this is also beautiful. Yeah, Pakistan. This place is fun. 
<laughs> so far, what have we been? 15 countries, maybe? I don't know. We got our passport right here. Oh, yeah, they give us a passport. Ooh. This is part of the experience here. They give you a passport, and I guess if you wanted to, you could get a stamp at each one. So, oh, there must be an Indonesia one coming soon. Oh, Haven't okay. seen that yet, but it goes on and on and on and on and on. All right. Very, Very nice. Cool. Very We're cool. We're traveling the world in one afternoon. One afternoon. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right. I think this is the Indonesian one. Really? It looks like an Indonesian moss. With uh... Oh, no, it's Singapore. Oh, Singapore. Sultan looks very, Mosque. Uh, looks very Middle East with those domes. Yeah, I think uh, the Southeast Asian country, uh, their mosque looks similar to the mis Middle yeah, East mosque. More of the architecture from the Middle East. Right. This one looks very Middle East, and this is Singapore. Singapore. Ooh, it looks kind of like Malaysian or Indonesian. You know why this one's not super massive? Why? There's no space in Singapore for anything super uh, massive. Ah, you're <laughs> Tiny right. Tiny little country. Probably very fancy, but it can't be a big sprawling fort like it can. That's know? right. Still beautiful. Still beautiful. Lovely. Similar to Singapore with the golden domes and the concrete color. Right. This one is Brunei. 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 Wow. Sultan Umar Mosque. All the Southeast Asian mosques, I think, I'm guessing they're pretty new. I'm thinking the same because it just doesn't have the 1,000 year old history. I right. think Islam was here a thousand years ago and I don't think there was much happening. That's right. Just natives. Look it's still that. beautiful though. Mm -hmm, beautiful. Ooh, I think I see Indonesia on the horizon. Ooh. This is Indonesian style. You think so? I think this is Indonesian style with the uh, brown shingles Let's like this. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Just Another beautiful we mosque. we go to Indonesia, we'll go to Thailand, just like we did on our first trip ever. <laughs> That's right. Thailand to Indonesia. Thailand, this is Thailand Mosque. It looks like a checkerboard. It looks like a checkerboard. Ooh. Was oh, it's pretty new. So it's pretty new. Quite decorative though, bright colors. Yeah. It seems like a lot of the Middle Eastern ancient ones are just kind of concrete or stone color. That's They're right. Not, uh, well, there is blue in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Iran. But this one, very bright red, yellow, green. Arabic and Thai. The front wow. Door. There you have it. Okay. Cool. Next stop, Indonesia. Oh, Indonesia, you are right. Okay. Built in 1549. 1549, okay. So this one's quite old. Whoa, it is old. Central Java. How come? That might be one of the one of the first years or first centuries where Islam was in Indonesia. Maybe. 1500s? Pretty old. The and largest. I like the uh, brown shingle like this. Hmm. I like that it's unique, you know? Looks like the, the Malay the style. Dome is, is so common in this area that this looks very, yeah, Indonesian or Malay style. Same idea. Yeah. Made yeah. by Malay people. Yeah. Very nice. Let's check it out. Uh, this one is really nice. It's a huge open area. The kind of rock tower, stone tower, and a dome, and a traditional Indonesian yeah, style. Yeah, it still has the old dome yeah. style. Wow, it looks like an old kingdom, actually. Looks like awesome. an old Indonesian kingdom here. True. A palace, not a was. palace. Most of the, I've noticed too, most of the mosques are named after some king. Uh, Sultan from Brunei, or like right. Muhammad Ali from you know, the past. There's lots of kings or like, you know, kingdoms where they build the mosque to show off how great the kingdom is. Right. I like this one. Indonesia. Like unique Indonesian style. That's cool. It has their own style. The or Malay style. Largest Muslim population in the world. One more. The Grand Kubah. The last one here. Ooh. What is that? Where could Up that there. be? Let's check it Let's out. Let's go. Uh, any guesses? Muslim country we haven't seen yet? Uh, my guess is... I think this is Malaysia. We haven't seen a Malaysian one yet. It would be Malaysia. The I best, think so. The most elaborate one, it should be Malaysia. Let's, Let's check, check it out. It out. Woo, Malaysia. Yeah, National Mosque. We should have known from the ground, from the blue roof. Yeah. So we've seen this before. We never actually got out of the car and explored the National Mosque, but we certainly drove past it. I would say it's in KL, right? Yeah. I thought it looked familiar. I like there you the have uh, it. roof style. Very distinctive. Yeah. Kind of uh, triangle coming out. That's right. And then the blue roof. As well as this tower, which the tip of it reminds me of uh, the tower in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> the all-seeing eye. Wow. Very spectacular build. 
And even this roof over here, almost like Sydney Opera House. Oh yeah. Or like the traditional house. It's Malaysian traditional house. Yeah. Really, really nice. And they did such a good job. You can see all the pathways and you can kind of, you know, what we should have done, Ivana, we should have brought little dolls, a doll of me and a doll of you, <laughs> put them everywhere, and then like, oh, we've been all over the world. You know? <laughs> really well done. Even this being glass and this being metal, like the railings are all accurate. Yeah. It's fantastic, right? Look at that. This is a cool way to explore the National Mosque. Ooh. Pretty spectacular. There you have it, guys. So, Ivana, most memorable mosque of the day. Turkey. Beautiful mosque. Turkey. I love it. I still am stuck on the Niger Mosque. That's the tower with the wood sticking out. Mm, Very interesting. That's right. Wow. Very nice. So there you have it, guys. I would definitely recommend coming here if you're in yeah. Terengganu and traveling around. 20 ringgits a person to get in. Beautiful uh, place and you can learn a lot. Yes, the signage is yeah. really good. The place is really well maintained. Lots of information, history, mm -hmm. historical, religious. It uh, architectural, it very interesting. It inspired me to travel more and visit all this moss in real life. True, it, true. It really added to my itchy feet. I really <laughs> want to get going. So That's Ivana true. saw that Turkish mosque and she's like, we must go to Turkey Ooh, soon. Soon, soon. Stay tuned for some Turkey vlog, guys. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. We're on our way to uh, another vlog. So see you in the next one. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Love Later. You.